the way I feel right now is that I'm never going to go back to Savers. I don't even think I want to even go back to the stores that have big windows on them. A witness to a terrifying deadly crash in Las Cruces speaks with CBS4 just two days after an SUV rammed into a crowded Savers store. CBS4 at 530's Ariana Pata is live in Las Cruces with the exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Well, right now I'm standing here at the Savers on North Main Street in Las Cruces, where go ahead and take a look. You can see that w these windows that were once completely shattered are now fixed. Now that crash sent 10 people to the hospital. And today I sat down with one woman who suffered multiple injuries as a result of Tuesday's crash. She tells me that she was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. When I woke up, I woke up in the middle like I, I could hear people screaming and yelling, but uh, I was trying to get out of the clo out of the clothes myself. Ana Martinez had been at Savers for a half hour Tuesday morning when a car drove through the store. I heard the big crash, like a bomb or something, that something that crashed, and then I go like, what's going on? The next thing she knew... I saw all the wrecks of the clothes flying, and they were all flying towards me. She says she blacked out, and when she came to, she saw a woman coming to help her. She was digging through the clothes to find me, and then she went up to me and she said, are you all right, are you all right? I said, yeah. The woman keeping her calm as they waited for paramedics to arrive. They were grabbing me, like grabbing me to put me on the stretcher, and it was in pain. I was yelling because it hurt it so bad. Martinez was taken to a local hospital where she was treated for a cut on her eye, a concussion, fractured ribs, and a fractured wrist. I'm very grateful too because when they came in, you know, uh, I guess I was one of the first ones that were in, that was treated first. Martinez tells me she suffered from depression for over a year and just so happened to want to get out of the house that day. I haven't been into Savers in a long time. And anyway, it's Tuesday, that 30% off, you know, it's kind of like sci exciting. But now she doesn't know the next time she'll step foot inside a store. I was trying to go out, you know, feel better. I met with this thing and I go like, wow, no, I don't want to go out of my little sh shell here that I have. And as for now, Martinez tells me that she's looking forward to getting better. That way she can take care of her animals and spend some quality time with her husband. Now, meantime, I did stop by the Savers earlier today and I spoke with an employee who tells me he has no idea when they'll be opening again. For now, I'm reporting live in Las Cruces, Arena Parra, CBS 4 at 530.